we have learned about activity and now we will learn about the activity life cycle. So what is the activity life cycle? The activity life cycle is what happens from the start to the end of an activity. So what happens from when it is created to when it gets destroyed. Because Android gets a lot of user inputs and a lot of other events like calls, the screen can switch off, the user can put the app in the background. So a lot of events happen and the activity gets these events to handle them. So let us look at those events or methods and when are they called. So the first time an activity gets created, we get the on create event. Then when the activity is starting to get visible to the user, we get on start. On resume is the method or event we get when the activity can start interacting with the user. Interacting with the user means suppose there is a button in it so we can take inputs, we can scroll the app. So that is when the activity starts interacting with the user. When the activity is no longer fully visible to the user, we get on pause. And when the activity is just not visible to the user, it's gone into the background. That is when we get on stop. From a stopped activity, when the activity is coming up and it is becoming visible to the user, that is when we get on restart. That is we are restarting the activity. And finally, on destroy is when the activity gets destroyed. So which means that after on destroy, the activity is no more there. Let's look at a couple of examples and see what is the set of activities. Suppose the app has been launched. So what are the activities we get? We first get on create because the activity is getting created. Then we get on start. The activity is starting to get visible and then on resume so that it can take user inputs. Suppose now we click the home button. Now when the home button is clicked, the app will go into the background. When the app will go into the background, we will first get an on pause on the activity and then an on stop because now the activity is no longer visible to the user. Suppose we go and click the app icon. When the app icon is clicked, then the app comes into the foreground. So what do we get? We will get an on restart because it's restarting, then an on start because it's getting visible and then an on resume because now it can start taking you inputs from the user. It can start interacting with the user. When we click a back button in Android, the app is destroyed. So what will we get here? First, we will get an on pause because the activity is starting to become not visible to the user. Then an on stop and finally an on destroy. 